take out the trink unless you see your target appears travel no thanks with a supporting large ship yeah <laughs> I'd have to leave the safe zone though as well, don't forget that. <laughs> put a put a fire ship upgrade on the on the starter ship. I don't know what way they work. That's kinda There's a Bologna, oh man. He's the medium support. I'd like to capture a Bologna. I like that ship. There's a Sam Pavel. This is a rank two. And he has a large support, which is probably another San Pavel. And there's the Bologna. The rank three. That, that That's a scary ship for me to go up against. I, I would die to that ship, but then he also has one other large ship. And another medium ship. Pretty sure we would be classed as a medium ship. So yeah, I love the Bologna. Um, what are you? An enemy player. That's the next ship I kind of want. And I'll probably stick with one of them for a little while. Ads. Yeah, I love black sails. We were actually talking about that yesterday. Um, I need to. I have Prime, so I need to look up and see about getting that Lionsgate free trial or something and watch it again. Yeah, it's a great series. I can't remember. I think I watched it. Was it on Netflix before? There's an Inger player. We're slowly catching this drink. It's not a mission target, so if a frigate happens to pass by, I'm going to grab that. Or another Gross Vaunter. Yeah, I think it used to be on Netflix, and I saw it there. Unless I watched it on a dodgy site somewhere. United States with two mediums and six small ships. Thank you, AI. Do not outrun me now. Bunch conquest starting. The Trink is a ship that I actually have. Um, one of those uh, bonus ships I get for owning the game previously. Good ship. Yeah, their their clan started. Yeah.
Ooh, that's not an ideal uh, basing for us. Let's turn. Alright, looks like the Trink is going to do a Rename. bad but as you can see the trink is a bit tankier than the rename the chonker ship Yeah, it would be terrifying, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Especially because it's not the cannonballs that kill you, it's the splinters. Alright, we, we just nuked his rudder. So, uh, he's kind of stuck in that turn for a little bit. He can use his sails like he is to do a little bit, but um, not much else. So what I can do, do a full turn and get our left side on him. Or he can turn around. He has no rear guns either. few hits at the front. Okay, he's coming back around again. He wants to get those front guns on us. Not show him our ass right now. Now we'll turn. Oh, I hadn't, I hadn't rotated my sails fully. Whoops. really bad when he hit with about half our shots
I was gonna try and turn him behind him, but we won't. We'll just try and get him in the rear section here. Couple of very low shots there, but you do. Yeah, you'll see the hits register up here. So we have like uh, we had 29 guns left on that side, and we only hit for like 10. Yeah, we didn't have the full broadside there when he's up. Can't see, can't see. Alright. Um, no, not really. I don't play enough. Well, I, I probably do play enough. But uh, I only got back into it like last year. Uh, I've done like one or two bits of P PvP, but they weren't exactly um, my choice. But I haven't really got into that scene. I wouldn't mind it, it's just um, I'm a very casual gamer. A lot of the games I play take a lot of time, so... Trying to keep them all kind of going is one thing that I don't need. I'm over here, buddy. Like, for this wipe, if... Probably, like couple of weeks I'll have enough reserve ships and all that kind of stuff I'll just throw them at PvP every now and then but for now I just want to get up my collection so drifting a little bit uh, do we go for the rear we do Again, we, we only hit 19 of those, but we did a lot of damage through the center there. How long the season is? I think it's six months. Around six months. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. Um, I think a lot of the, the full-time players kind of want it to be longer, but I don't know. For me, it's fine. Like I said, I have maybe 15 hours in this season and... Been having a good bit of fun. A couple of ships money but I've been arsed around a lot so yeah there are people that were prepared for the wipe and know what to do to get money pretty quickly and they can do that no problem same in any other game I suppose now, if I hit five I can bring up this and do repairs I don't really need to that will drag crew from all of your other assignments into that area so 
like you have sailing, your gunnery, and uh, your survival. So if you start getting leaks and stuff, you want crew in that one. Burning through the last is planking now, so won't be too long. Okay, drink is a tough little ship. You may have hit him a few times. Yeah, definitely stronger than the last one, and that's that's kind of the point. Is um, I think they're both the same rank. But uh, he's done now. We had no uh, doubloons on him. Piggy bugger. Another one. Yeah, we had 66 experience for that. There's an Inger. I don't really feel like battling in anger right now because I'll have to go to work soon. Anyone build a lotion? Lotion is like the the French rank one. Oh, do you know what? I want to go west because I want to go back to Santiago. That should have a bunch of stuff around it. Yeah, it's like a 118 gunship. Basically, it's the same as a victory, basically. Good fire. Little snow. What is it, the best or strongest ship in the game? I don't know. Um, like your rank ones are basically um, a lot of firepower and less maneuverability. Because I'm sure that for PvP, the ships are rated differently than um, for like PvE.
So I, I wouldn't have a clue. Stop throwing your man lands at me. Come on. Player can't attack. Yeah, but it, that's going to take like 40 minutes. The only issue is it's going to take forever. That is a, a Wasa. Also a nice ship. That's a tough ship, actually. Well, in my mind, it's a tough ship. My god, another one. I'll probably lose this one, watch. watch <laughs> if I screw it up badly enough I will lose there's that little circle that used to bring in uh, the people around you I think it still does outside of the safe zone Inger, um, tough ship, big guns. I would capture, but that'd be, um, that would take even longer, and I, I don't have that time. Does he want to go? Uh, no, we're not going to make that. So, I'm not showing my back to him. We're going to have to take this broadside when he comes around.
I'm gonna continue to focus on the rear end of the ship. Oh, this is gonna do a huge amount. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. You might try and board me. Keep our speed up. So we can see this end. Come on. Right now at the rudder, get some speed. Because I want to do this. Alright, we've damaged his rudder. And his pump. I can add all his rear armor, but like... We haven't touched his planking on the sides. We haven't really been focusing on that. So I'm hoping we can get another volley off here before he gets around. So like we're gonna straighten up. start repairs. Let's see, our cannon reload is going to be a bit slower because our crew have been transferred over here. But I want to keep my flanking popped up. So once you activate the repairs, yeah, it automatically transfers some crew. Like, you'll see that uh, 8 and 9 are not highlighted. Um, Because I turned them off at... Well, I turned 8 off at the start of the fight. So that I could get more crew into these areas. I don't need them yet, because we're not having any leaks. Ooh. Yeah, we'll take a volley on the side here. Yeah. 
Come on, gain that speed. This is what we've basically been trying to do the whole time. Um, not with those single volleys, but he will over time. And we are repairing, so there's that. We don't do much to him either. <laughs> What I don't want him is uh, him boarding me. He has 623 crew and he probably has marines on board and stuff. These, these become slogs. Where you basically you just don't want uh, your damage to mount up. Paracruz did a great job. Again, so the, the top deck here, I usually aim low. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We knocked out his pump, but uh, he put two leaks into us, which was exactly what I was about to say. Uh, yeah, you need to carry, there's three types of repairs. You need to carry um, planking, sails, and um, rum for people. Uh, so you see here, it'll cost 12 per, and I have 81. We have two leaks, so we have 108 people working on that now. So while we're stopped, actually, we're not going to take on too much water. Let's go this way. Alright, leaks are repaired. You can see how much damage he did with a, a single volley. So, you know, he, he can hurt us. If he gets a, a solid volley on us. He can hurt us a lot. done a good bit of damage to him, damage to central blanking as well. And if we can get around the side again, the side with the back, I mean. Is looking likely. Maybe not. I do want to hit that though. I want to hit that water lane.
I think we'll get another... We'll get another volley. He's going to turn back on us, I think. Come on. Come on. Full crew on the cannons. Yeah, won't give us a leak on him. No, I'm turning the wrong way. Three and a half minutes until we can do repairs again. Yeah, yeah, he is. And he's not maneuvering as much as us, so that's kind of... <clears throat> ...helping him out. But we are halfway through his all over the place, so that's good. We'll keep our left side to him now for a little bit. Tail end shots didn't hit him at all. I know I said I'd keep my left side to him, but uh. Make him turn. So he's stuck in that turn for a little bit. But he's using his sails, as you can see, to help him turn. That was pretty solid for us. That was pretty solid for him. Rings and roundabouts.
start up another set of repairs just in case. What I have to do to capture him? Well, we have his planking down now, so we'd have to use grape shot on his crew. His 578 crew, I have 521. But we need to do a lot of damage to his crew. So we could attack him from the left side or the rear. But, you know, we'd have to tank his shots that whole time. Is the not so ideal part. He's actually sinking. Thinking nicely, too. Yeah, done. There you go. Just like that. That didn't actually take as long as I thought. 150 experience for that. Yeah, we got a we got a nice raking shot at the end, but he was already sinking, so um, that worked out well. There's another one with a support ship, small support ship. And another. I'm having nightmares about Ingers. I said Ingers. How much was a good Inger? Was it, um... they 1.2 million or was that the bologna they're everywhere yeah as you thought they're they're a strong ship get back into santiago here Pickle permit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Grab all that in there. Um I'll hold on to the guns for now just uh in case. Walker's key has been captured by pirates. Go. Cool.
permits, the pickle, so that. Wait, what else do we have? Oh, indefatigable. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, resources, tools. Oh, we're close to a million. Again. Almost, but like, you know, it's, it's an arbitrary goal. Um, rank fours, ships. Yeah, the Inger we were looking at. Yeah, the, the next decent one is... That's not bad. What's the Connie? 4.5 million. <laughs> So like, uh, let's, uh, yeah, Agamemnon has a BR of 150. Oh, you're 150 as well. The Inger has 68 guns, 68 guns. It has heavier guns though. Uh, rank threes. The Wasa with the terrible hit points. Same with the third rate. Bologna with that uh, low thickness. Oh, you're one million? Oh, but you have terrible stats. The hell is building all these ships? Cargo hold of 4,000. Uh, what thickness are you usually looking for? Just green. <laughs> so ours is the 70, 23, and 70. In a rank 4 Agamemnon. And let's say we were looking at rank 3s, right? bought this one that third rate's not bad okay there's a little less health and stuff but to buy the third rate and extra guns probably heavier guns three upgrades now eh, let's buy that So, it says location here, which is all fine and dandy, but gets delivered to where you are. Uh, let's do this. So, this is the third rate. A slightly different design philosophy to the Agamemnon. And it can have 32 pounders, 28 of them. And then 28, 18 pounders, and it's going to have nine pounders on the top decks. Um, okay, so I need two more 18, or yeah, two more 18 pounder long guns, because I might just transfer over the guns. I'd need. Six more nine pounder long guns. They're, they're not going to be available here, right? Yeah.
by standards. Wait, can we buy enough standards here? Uh, 28, 32 pounders. Yes. And 28, 18 pounders. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, good. Oh, you don't have much. Hmm. I think we'll just keep it as is then. Um, so what I'm going to do then is not do what I just did. Boom, boom, boom. So there's the Agamemnon. Third rate. Also, there's 700 crew on this compared to the like 560 on the Agamemnon. Uh, I just sold a bunch of upgrades that I could have just stuck on this. Just like that one mil gone. Yeah, but at the start of the stream, I only had like uh, 180,000 reals. He's attacking that Cerberus. There's the United States. There's a frigate with two small ships. That's what we're going after. over behind him. It's uh, quarter past three. Yeah, we should be able to do this pretty quick. Curious about this. Are carnades now viable again? I like carnades. Come on, let me catch this thing. Carnades are kind of, um, they're short barreled, heavy uh, caliber cannons.
Two small ships should be no problem. Well, this should be no problem in general. They are just on board. All right. Yeah, I want to get um, I want to collect some books, get some upgrades for this because as you can see, it takes four hundred and twenty-four crew to man these cannons. Out of our seven hundred total crew. Uh, books you can put into um, slots. Once you gain experience in a ship, you open up more slots where you can put books in. And they just give buffs to different areas. Like the one I'm looking for, like reduces cannon crew by, is it 5 or 7%? Then there are books that will help your sailing, like help the effectiveness of your sails, the effectiveness of your rudder. You can get extra thickness or structure points and stuff like that. The book, there's a bunch of different books for all sorts of things. Books to help with boarding, all that kind of thing. They don't give huge bonuses, but, you know, they'll add up. Uh, both. You can you can buy them, but you can also just find them. By taking on certain ships, you'll get bookcases, and then you open them back at port. Shot speed reduction? Oh, spread reduction, yeah. Oh, let's hear the 32 pounders. So there are the guns we were firing before. That was the 32 pounders. It be fear. And then the big boys fire, yeah. What I liked is that I think with the carronades that I was using previously on like the weapon, it was actually like a ringing like tinnitus. They found funny. You can see that we took down what? In that volley. They a third of his hull. He adds. Beautiful waste of a salvo there. Yes, I am waiting for the ass to be over. Hold 
on a second. That here up there. Yeah, I think a cutter would be in shock if um, a third rate decided to broadside them. Crash one cutter, yeah. A brave little man, in fairness, right? I would have turned tail and run. A little high there. But you can see what each hit was doing to his structure. Anyway, this fight is over. Come on, Christian. This fight is over. Got work to do. Thank you. Got the floating, yeah, floating battery. Ruins your maneuverability, but gives you 25% extra hit points. Actually, yeah, we can. You just have to look towards the other ships. And there's a bookcase, actually. So that we can open and get uh, books. There are expensive books around the place. I did not mean to do that. I'm going to do this. I doubt we can... Oh, we can. <clears throat> Extra traversal, I'll just take it and top up our uh wait. What happened there? Okay. I think that ship just sunk too much. Yeah, it went too far down. Yeah. Rank 5 hunt mission completed? Really? Oh, hold on a second. Are we about to make all our money back? Okay, maybe I did kill 22 rank 5s. Uh, we need four more frigates, ten more bell pools, a bunch of ingers. So we'll be killing the ingers and uh, doing this at the same time. And then, yeah, cutters and rank sevens. Uh, again, like this here, this is probably going to be like a rank six or rank seven. But you, you're usually able to do that mission in the background while doing bigger missions. They all count. Get back to port, hand in this and see what we got. But 
But now, like, we have the Agamemnon and the Third Rate down here. And we have the Tricomaly and the Pandora up in Mortimer Town. Like, not a huge distance away from each other, but, like, last wipe, I was operating out of Mortimer Town and Nuvitas. So I probably will send something up to Nuvitas and get a an outpost there, just to have it. And then I'll see about putting uh, something far away. That's a relatively small area when you look at the map. St. George's Town has not been taken yet. A bunch of these have not been taken yet. Right then, I'm just going to pop them in there. Um, open that. Open that again. So just control clicking all these. And then drag them all over. The bookcases, uh, you open them here. So that's it. Uh, that's all right. Extra planking, but it'll reduce your speed. And then these are the, the decent ones in my eyes. Increase your repair amount, not by much, but still a little bit. That will do. And I drag that down there. You just click on these, you don't have to drag over. Well, you can drag over, but you don't have to. Um, Sailing crew minus five, ship turn rate and setting speed. And yeah, so I'm going to put that on. So in battle, we're going to require less crew beyond the sails. So that will free them up for other things. So when you start like adding them up with like a cannon, one of the same thing, that'd be great. And then we need 210 XP in this ship to unlock the first slot there to use a book. And then like we can upgrade it with long guns and so on in a little bit so we have this mission to hand in i'm not going to hand it in here i'm going to go to mortimer town hand it in there just because that's where the active market is and we're going to get um 13 of them we're going to two chests Take that. It's probably a bunch of price gouging going on here, but anyway. Uh, wooden chest, let's open that. Oh. Oh, we got seasoned wood. Nice. And then a silver chest. Okay. Resources. Get rid of the tools. So you're selling for 679 a piece. But people are selling them for 1100. I'm thinking I could just sell them for uh, 800 and someone will buy them. But even selling them there at the 400 a piece is 153,000. And what would we get here? 249,000. So that's just for finishing a mission. Be really useful. I'm, I'm going to sell them because I, I don't care. 
we keep saying. I'm not gonna worry about min max and stuff. I have two of them. No, I have one of them, but one person wants oh someone wants to buy them. Okay, that's fine, that's done. Sell that other one. Cool. So we're back up to four hundred and eighty seven thousand. Not too bad. Hey right, guys, I need to go to work, so I'm gonna wrap up the stream there. Um, who's online? I will go over to MG Mindful, who's doing a bit of a naval action as well. But he has an underscore, so he's hard to find. There we go. Hey guys, have a good one. Um, it'll be X4 tomorrow. See you then.